Hello, BookTube. I wanted to make a quick reminder video of something I brought up the other day uh, about Open Letters, uh, both Open Letters Monthly and Open Letters Review. Now, Open Letters Monthly was an online literary journal where I was the managing editor. I was one of the founding editors for 10 years. Um, and it is over. It, has, it came to an end after a run of 10 years. Uh, and it might be familiar to some of you because while it was up and running, I would often encourage you to review for it, to try your hand at writing a, a, a long, formal book review. Uh, at Open Letters Monthly, the minimum word count for a table of contents pieces was 2,000, 2,000 words. Uh, so it was an undertaking, but a lot of you tried it over the course of time, and a lot of good reviews resulted. Uh, Open Letters Review is a new iteration of Open Letters Monthly. Open Letters Monthly is over. Open Letters Review sort of continues... Uh, a large part of the ethos of Open Letters Monthly. Uh, four editors from Open Letters Monthly moved over. Our mystery columnist moved over. Uh, hopefully a bunch of freelancers who worked for Open Letters Monthly will, will contribute work to Open Letters Review. Uh, and we added people. We've added four editors uh, who uh, uh, a couple of them are from BookTube. Uh, we added Britta, uh, I'm sure you're all subscribed to our channel. We added Jennifer at Insert Literary Pond here. We added Jess at Garden Scriptorium. Uh, and uh, we changed the minimum word count from a, a minimum of 2,000 to a maximum of 1,000, which is, uh, as I mentioned on this channel before, uh, a little more palatable for people who are doing this in their spare time. Uh, but the essential ideology, if you will, remains the same, which is lively, accessible reviews of everything. New, old, reprinted, out of print. Uh, and the fact that that is the case, I mean, we have, we have people generating content. Of course, I'm going to generate content every day. Uh, but the fact that that is the case made me want to make a, a separate video, a sort of a standalone video, not very long, and just, once again, urge you all to join in the fun at Open Letters Review, uh, to try your hand at writing book reviews for an audience that is different from the one that maybe you've already had access to. Uh, not at all to undercut the book reviews that you do on your BookTube channels, uh, but rather to explore how they are different from the reviews that you do in writing, from well, the feeling of writing a review. Uh, they are different, and uh, the differences are very interesting <laughs> to, to explore. And uh, so I wanted to make the same offer. Open Letters Review uh, very much wants reviewers. <laughs> we, we very much want new and different voices. Uh, so if you have a subject matter that you want to write about, in addition to talking about it on camera, if you want to write about it, or if you've read a new release, or if you've read... Uh, an older book, and you you have something new to say about it, my urging is that maybe for once or once or twice to see what you feel about it, you try responding to that in writing in detail for Open Letters Review instead of or in addition to for something like Goodreads. Uh, no matter what that is, no matter what the, the type or subject of the book is, and the the, the addendum that goes along with that is that, of course, I would be happy to send you books, uh, it, uh, an advanced reader's copy of anything that you want to try your hand at reviewing. That part is the same as it was with Open Letters Monthly. If, you, if there's something that you want to try your hand at reviewing and I can get it for you, I absolutely will. <laughs> uh, so I want to wrap this up quickly. That's all I wanted to say for this video is... Uh, I'm going to put the link to Open Letters Review down below. It is uh, it is still in early days. There are still boxes and sawdust all around, as you'll be able to see when you go there. It's very much a, a new website. doesn't have all the bells and whistles yet. doesn't have all the, the archives yet. doesn't have all the side features yet. I, I intend to work with a bunch of people to build all of those things in the course of 2018, preferably in the early part of 2018. I would like it if by this time next year, Open Letters Review is simply, you know, battened down and hammered into place. And no one thinks about the superstructure anymore. They just think about the content. 
That's that's what I would like, rather than people go there and be tripping over rebar and whatnot. Uh, that's going to happen now, as you'll see if you look at the site. Uh, it, it looks pretty good, I think. Simple, accessible, a lot less uh, top freighted than Open Letters Monthly was. It's right. I mean, if you if you're doing a literary journal for ten years and your your emphasis is on enormous amounts of content, after ten years, it's it's going to be difficult to build a site around that much content that isn't going to look a little top heavy. I'd, I'd like to think that Open Letters Review, uh, in addition to not having all of that content yet, also looks a little more accessible, a little brighter, a little more open to the air. Uh, but uh, one way or another, <laughs> uh, when you go there, if you look around, you'll see the masthead, you'll see the people whose literary company you'd be in, and I strongly urge you to give it a try. A lot of you read new releases. 2018 new releases. I've seen how many videos just this week alone of 2018 releases that you're looking forward to reading. My suggestion is that you read them critically, take notes, and try your hand at reviewing. <laughs> and you have a venue if you want to do that. Uh, and also, again, if there's anything you want me to get to give you to try, just let me know and I'll do my best. Uh, but that's, that's all for now. I'm going to move on to more videos. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to put in a, a little reminder to you all uh, uh, that there's a new place for your work if you want to try it. Uh, and there's a new place for all my work and the work of all the other people I named. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I'll wrap it up for now, and I'll see you soon. Thank you, book too.